For the first six years of my life, I was legally blind, and no one knew it. At three years old, I could hear sounds that would normally go unnoticed. Sounds like the clock ticking. Tick, tock, tick. And no, I don't just mean in a quiet room where there is no sound. I mean, when my parents were talking out loud or the TV volume was turned all the way up, I could hear the clock ticking in the background. Now, this wasn't because I had a better sense of hearing than my parents, but more because my sense of hearing was heightened because my sight was limited. I was legally blind. I only had about 5% vision. Everything I saw was blurred. And guess what? I got used to seeing things that way. As I look back, I'm not sure how no one caught it. Not even my pediatrician. I survived kindergarten without being able to see things clearly. Even though I sat in the very front row of the class, I struggled to see the alphabet, but still, I listened carefully and learned rather quickly. I'm surprised how no one caught it. Not even my parents. Probably because I was so smart. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing is that even though my vision wasn't perfect or 20-20, my feelings were just like my hearing. For as long as I can remember, I had the compassion for others and the heart to give. I believe Santa Claus, or I should say, my dad had a lot to do with that. <laughs> One of my favorite family traditions that I absolutely loved since childhood was gifting during Christmas. Every Christmas, my dad used to dress up as Santa Claus and distribute gifts into the community. And guess what? For a while, I thought it was really Santa Claus coming to visit us. But later, when I realized the truth, I felt kind of disappointed. But after I realized the truth, I became Santa's little elf and helped him carry the bags to the local toy drives. Being able to help others allowed me to see the beauty in serving others. And I felt so good about myself giving more gifts. That feeling of fulfillment kindled my desire to serve the community. Then something happened that completely changed my life forever. At the age of five, I had my first cataract surgery. And thanks to technology and great doctors, I was able to see a whole new world. Since our house was close to the San Jose International Airport, for the first time, I could both hear and see planes flying over our house. I could even see the logo of which airline it was. After the surgery, the doctors suggested I keep my eyes engaged so I do not have lazy eyes. That was when my parents handed me over some video games and from time to time their cell phones. And boy, what a treat that was to my eyes. Technology has been my first love ever since. Yes, I got glued to my iPhone, iPad, and my parents' laptop. I even loved playing a game called Minecraft in which you could create so many different worlds with endless possibilities. I realized you could build and create anything that you could imagine. Then, on my ninth birthday, I did something different than what most of my friends were doing. I had a choice to either throw a birthday party and have fun with my friends, which everyone was doing, or opt into a coding camp held at Google Garage. And well, I chose the latter because I was determined to find out how I could use technology to make a difference in the real world. I then spent the next few summers learning all kinds of coding languages. These languages included HTML, Python, and basic JavaScript. I even learned digital marketing like SEO, email marketing, and lead generation. And on the side with that, I even created an Android app for fun. And if you're case, in case you're wondering, no, I was not the typical nerdy teen. I also ran for cross country races and played for my school's basketball team. And guess what? My basketball team, we won first place for the county. Little did I know, my love and passion for technology would soon introduce me to the moment I'd always been waiting for, the moment for me to find my purpose. I was gonna change the world through the eyes of technology. 2020, not the vision, but the year I had a metaphorical cataract surgery. The COVID-19 pandemic 
opened my eyes up to the fact that while I had access to all the technology and its convenience, that wasn't really the case with everyone, especially small businesses. The world was forced to socially distance and do their everyday activities that they normally do in person to do them online. That was when I started to see how the world was really getting impacted. As, as I started to see people losing their jobs, people falling sick, and some businesses even getting shut down. And that was when I realized how I could do something that I learned from my Google Camps and other summer programs to support these small businesses. So I started off by volunteering to get them an online presence. It was as simple as getting them to create Facebook and Instagram accounts. And for some even, I did lead generation so they could stay open for business. And due to that, in the midst of a pandemic, I saw hope in the eyes of small business owners and once again experienced how helping others is so fulfilling and felt even more connected with the community. Technology is power. You can use technology to make a difference in your community. For example, you can use technology to make a website or create an online presence. You can also use technology to create video games that help teach children about mathematics and science. Technology has the potential, the potential to change the world. And it is important we all have a vision to make this world a better place. As Helen Keller once said, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. So what is your vision for the future? What issues do you see that need to be addressed? Do something today to make a difference. Support small businesses and close digital equity gaps in order to help build the next generations who care for one another, care for the environment, and integrate technology into their everyday lives in a much more meaningful way. In this new era, let us make our lives better through the eyes of technology.